What's up, everybody? Time to do my fantasy booking for SummerSlam 2017. Fantasy booking of SummerSlam. So here we go. Up first, I'm going to start with the kickoff. Kickoff show, because you know they're going to have a match or two matches on the kickoff because the kickoff I believe is two hours long so we're gonna get one or two kickoff matches anyways I only got one uh, I think one kickoff match so let me count all these the matches I booked we got one two three four five six seven 10, 11 matches. 11 matches I booked for SummerSlam 2017 starts with the kickoff match. It is a Raw women's match. Emma taking on Bailey. Uh, sadly, in the real SummerSlam, that is going to happen in less than, I think, less than uh, three weeks. So probably, I don't know, 17 days, 16 days, or something like that. Maybe longer than that. But sadly, Bailey might not be able to compete against Alexa Bliss because reportedly Bailey suffered a shoulder injury. Not reportedly, it's fact. She suffered a soldier, shoulder injury. Had her shoulder wrapped up with ice after Raw. Her uh, motion, range of motion, didn't look good. She looked like she couldn't even lift her arms this high. Or this high. She couldn't even lift her arms over her head. So that's not good. She got an MRI. I don't know what the results are, but she might not be able to take on Alexa. That is going to suck. So anyways, I got Emma on the kickoff. Because I like Emma a lot. She's really underrated and underutilized. So Emma on the kickoff taking on Bailey. Emma wins because she needs to start winning over a big baby face and an established baby face like Emma. So not established baby face like Emma. What am I saying? An established baby face like Bailey. So Emma wins over her. Up next on the pay-per-view matches now. I was just looking over what I should read first. I'll go with a SmackDown tag team title match. SmackDown tag title triple threat match. The New Day defends against the Usos. And the third team is Sami Zayn and Ty Dillinger. Triple threat for the SmackDown tag team titles. I would have the New Day win and retain. Now to let's do a Raw Women's match. Raw Women's title, Alexa Bliss. By the way, before Bailey got injured, I went to put her in the title match anyway. Even if she was or was not injured, I was not booking her in the title match at SummerSlam. Alexa Bliss defending against Sasha Banks, the boss. They had a good match at uh I think Great Balls of Fire is where they had their match. And they got unfinished business, in my opinion. Their feud should not be done. They could have great matches. They have good chemistry. I believe Sasha is a little bit better than Bailey in the ring. And as a wrestler. But that doesn't matter. Anyways, Sasha Banks getting the title shot. So it's Alexa, Sasha, Banks, Part 2. I would like to see them feud again in real WWE. I would like to see them feud again after SummerSlam or something. If Alexa retains, which I don't know if she will. Because I don't know if Bailey's going to take on her. And if Bailey can, they'll probably put Sasha in the title match anyways. So my fantasy booking for the Raw Women's title will probably become true now because Bailey is probably out with an injury. 
I just, uh, I really hope, I really hope Bailey doesn't have to be out for like four to six months by getting surgery because that really suck. I'm a big Bailey fan. I would have Alexa retain against Sasha Banks. Alexa wins and retains a Raw Women's title up next. Let's go to the Raw Tag Team titles. It's a fatal four-way. Cesaro and Sheamus defending against the Revival, against the Hardys, and against Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Fatal four-way for the Raw Tag Titles. It's a gimmick match. It is TLC. TLC match. I think that'd be damn good. To have a TLC match at SummerSlam 2017. You got the Hardys back on your roster. Put them in a damn TLC tag team title match. And add the Revival. And add Rollins and Ambrose. So I would have the Hardys win. The Hardys win the TLC tag title match. Hardys are new tag champions again on Raw. Cruiserweight Championship now, the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, Neville is a champion, he's defending in a Cruiserweight Battle Royal, Cruiserweight Battle Royal, where the only way Neville wins and retains is if he wins a Battle Royal, who's it Neville against in a Battle Royal, who's in it, I'll tell you, Cedric Alexander, Rich Swan, TJ Perkins, Tony Nice, Ali, Mustafa Ali, Drew Drew Gulak, I almost forgot that guy's name, Drew Gulak, Grand Metallic, Sin Cara, Kalisto, and the final person in the Battle Royal Mystery, a surprise appearance, he's back, Rey Mysterio. I would put Rey Mysterio in the Cruiserweight Battle Royal. I think you get a good pop. So Rey Mysterio in the Cruiserweight Championship Battle Royal. Who wins? I would have Rey Mysterio win. And I don't care that the guy's 42 years old. I would have him win the Cruiserweight title. And then I'd have Rey Mysterio as Cruiserweight Champion feud with Neville. I think they could have really good matches. So Rey Mysterio wins a Cruiserweight Battle Royal. Rey Mysterio is the new Cruiserweight Champion. Don't like that idea of Rey Mysterio coming back. Winning the Cruiserweight title. Well, too bad. Make your own fantasy booking show. Interpromotional. Interpromotional matchup between Raw versus SmackDown Live. For Raw, it's Nia Jax. Interpromotional women's match. For Raw, it's Nia Jax. Team for Team SmackDown is Charlotte. They never faced off before, I don't believe. Never seen Nia versus Charlotte. I think it'd be entertaining to see. That's why I booked it. Charlotte would win over Nia. Now the SmackDown Women's Championship, Naomi. See, I got uh, four four women's matches on SummerSlam, and one on the kickoff. So three on the pay-per-view, one on the kickoff. I'm a huge fan of women's wrestling. That's why I booked four women's matches. SmackDown Women's Championship. Naomi defending against, I would have her defend against Natalia because Natalia deserves it. Also, Natalia wins because it's time to give her the Women's Championship again. It's been like at least eight years. Since she was Divas Champion. So Natalia wins is the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion Natalia. Mike Kanellis in a tag match. SmackDown Live tag match. Mike Kanellis and Kevin Owens. Taking on the returning the pay-per-view Y2J Chris Jericho and Randy Orton. Mike Kanellis, Kevin Owens taking on Y2J and Randy Orton, I would have Mike Kanellis and Kevin Owens wins win because Mike Kanellis, that guy needs a victory on pay per view. Also, you could have Maria interfere in the match and cost Orton and Jericho the match. So then after that, I'd have Kevin Owens feud 
with Randy Orton because I think that'd be a good feud. So another interpromotional matchup. Another interpromotional match between Raw and SmackDown. Jason Jordan, or maybe you want to call the guy Jason Angle, because he's supposedly Angle's son. We all know he's not, but that's his storyline. Jason Jordan taking on SmackDown's Chad Gable, the Battle of American Alpha. I think that match would be great. I don't know how good chemistry they would have, but I still think the match would be damn good. I think Gable Jordan, one-on-one, -on -one, I think it'd be a classic. So I would book them in that match at SummerSlam, interpromotional. And I'd have Jason Jordan win, because why not have him win? He's uh, supposedly the son of Kurt Angle, he needs a push. Jason Jordan defeats his former tag team partner, Chad Gable. Um, next, I'm going to go with uh, not many matches left on this fantasy booking of SummerSlam. So, two more matches. The uh, United States Champion. Or wait. Well, I don't think I... Uh, I didn't book a WWE Championship match. I did not. That's okay. Who cares? WWE title doesn't mean jack shit since Jinder Mahal has it anyways. Hopefully, at the real SummerSlam, Nakamura gets the title off Jinder. U.S. title. AJ Styles defending against John Cena in Nakamura. In a triple threat match. I would have Nakamura win. Become US champion. And then. I would have Nakamura. After he wins the US title. I have Nakamura feud. With AJ Styles. For about the next three months. They would have classic matches. And a lot of fans want to see that. I know I do. I want to see Nakamura and Styles. Get involved in a program. And have a feud. Maybe we'll get that in 2018. I don't know. Maybe, we, maybe we'll get it at WrestleMania. That'd be pretty awesome. So no WWE Championship. Big deal. But I do. And I did book the Universal Championship. I did book that. So that's my main event. For SummerSlam 2017. is a Universal Championship match. Brock Lesnar defending. Against... Braun Strowman, one on one, not a fatal four way. It's one on one because I'd rather see that than a fatal four way. But the fatal four way will be good, but I'd rather see Braun because the guy's been such a monster this year in WWE. He's been unstoppable. He was like almost killed by uh, Roman. When he was in that ambulance, he was almost killed, but he still came out of it, and he still was on his feet and walking. So Braun Strowman against Brock, one-on-one -on -one for the Universal title. I would have both of them beat the hell out of each other. They'd just beat the crap out of each other. Who wins? Braun Strowman wins and becomes a new WWE Universal Champion for Monday Night Raw. I think it'd be awesome if it was Braun. The original idea for SummerSlam, I'm talking about real life now. The original idea was to have Braun against Brock. But they didn't want to do that. They changed it. Vince changed his mind a lot of damn times. So I heard at one time it's supposed to be Brock Braun. Then I heard it's supposed to be Roman uh, Cena at one point at SummerSlam. Then I heard it's supposed to be Roman against Brock. And another time I heard it's supposed to be Samoa Joe against Brock. But that we know we're getting a fatal four way, and it will be good. But I'd rather see Brock, Brock Braun Strowman one on one. Braun wins, becomes the new Universal Champion. This ends, I'm just checking, I did all the matches I booked. 
So this ends my uh, fantasy booking. This ends my fantasy booking show for SummerSlam 2017. Go to my fantasy booking playlist to watch all my videos. I believe last year I did a fantasy booking for SummerSlam 2016. At least I think I did. I don't really remember because I've done so many shows since then. So hope you enjoyed this fantasy booking of SummerSlam 2017. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. And like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye for now, everybody.